Hello and welcome back on Null. So I wasn't actually expecting to be doing another one of these quite so soon, but yes, more Nulgaff birthday items just in time for this weekend, because of course it is going to be the Nulgaff birthday event. So I've got lots and lots of items, the majority of them are now confirmed, I'm going to show you lots of confirmed items, and there's bits that we're going to recap over the, from the previous videos, and I'm really excited to be showing you quite a lot of what is to come. So obviously it's going to be more and more, but... This is what we got so far. So as I said earlier, it is this weekend is the Nulgaff birthday event. So it's all based around Crag and Bamboozle. Well, mainly Crag. He's the little guy that throws diamonds into his mouth. Of course, he's the rock guy. So that's all I've got really to say on Crag. Anyway, so let's get into this properly. So Dragon King of Nulgaff, this set looks absolutely amazing I think it's absolutely huge those wings are massive quite like the colors on it I'm not too sure if this one will be color custom I'd say fairly unlikely but who knows most of the sets end up being color custom but I absolutely love it those wings if you're a collector of dragon wings they are something else they are absolutely massive but that's one thing that is definitely confirmed to be coming. So next up we've got the Transcendent of Turk. Of course this is the female version. I have shown you a male version and we thought it had a different name originally. But this is what we have got. Now again this one I'm pretty sure is 100% confirmed and will be coming into the game. So that is what the original sort of concept was behind it. So now we've got both of them. And of course it does appear to become this nice blade pet as well. Can't go wrong with one of them. Again that is something I've shown you before but just to recap over it. So having a look at many of the sets that Karato's designed here are pretty much all of them that should be coming in. We are going to move on to the Hype Beast which you can see in the top right in a minute and of course there's the Hellfire Heretic that I showed you in the previous video and the Legacy of Nulgaff set, well the evolved version because obviously the Legacy original is 100% rare. But that's really nice additions and I'm really looking forward to getting my hands on some of those sets. Of course they're all going to be available in a collection chest anyway. So here it is, the Hype Beast of Nulgaff for all the ultimate fanboys and girls out there of Nilgaf, you can dress up like this if you want. Now there is a little effect that I'll show you in a minute. I prefer the female version to the male version, so hopefully I will be getting that on my Miss Goon account. Well, maybe this weekend. I've got some adventure coins on there to spend, haven't we? Left over from Frostival. And there again is the effect. Now the gun or the zap or whatever we're going to call it, the Nilgaf fan girl boy gun thing, is actually going to be colour custom, so that's worth noting. Now I'm just quickly going to show you the male version here of the Hellfire Heretic, last time we only had the female one, but I think the male version is looking absolutely awesome, and this isn't just a frost all set, this will actually be coming out properly, so this is something again to be extremely excited for. The Cultist of Nulgaff set, now I'm not sure if this one is actually confirmed or not, or whether this is just a bit of fan art, but I guess time will tell, but again, a very nice void theme set, so who knows, it would be a good addition to the game. If it is, of course, added. So this is set by Darkon. I'm not actually sure if it's going to be called Debris 92.3, whether that's just some sort of code name or I'm totally missing the plot with it. But it's got an awesome axe. That axe is one hell of a nice colour custom axe. And it has a really, really cool effect with it. So I'll definitely be getting that weapon, however we may get our hands on it. Here we have a really nice little Moglin theme set. I can't say the name of it, and I've tried recording it so many times now, I've literally given up. But it does come with these Pokemon faces, sort of Pikachu, Pichu style things. So who knows if we will end up seeing those, but some of you may end up wanting to. This is the Yokai Ratnagade. That was really tricky again to say. I do actually quite like the look of this set, and I would expect it to be either part of some sort of yokai event that is planned in for later on in the month or February time, or indeed part of an upgrade package, but we'll just have to wait and see again for that one. So last but not least is this Void Cowboy set. Many of you may recognise this, of course, from Oversoul, but there's talk of bringing some Oversoul sets into a VegQuest world, which would be quite a nice idea. So everyone, thank you all very much for watching. Make sure you hit this video with a like and of course subscribe. And I hope you all enjoy whatever Nulgaff's birthday event has for us this weekend. Until next time, have a lovely day.